there, Reddit. You ever wonder what lurks behind the golden arches when the clock strikes midnight? Well, let me tell you a tale that'll send shivers down your spine. It was just another night at McDonald's, or so I thought. The parking lot was eerily silent, with only the occasional flicker of the streetlights casting long shadows across the pavement. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, a chill running down my spine as I approached the entrance. As I made my way to the drive through I caught a glimpse of something out of the corner of my eye, a ghostly figure hovering by the window, its form shifting and twisting in the darkness. My heart pounded in my chest as I noticed strange symbols etched into the pavement below, sending a shiver down my spine. Inside the kitchen, the air was thick with an otherworldly presence. Utensils hung from their hooks swayed gently, as if moved by an unseen force, while steam from the friars twisted and coiled into shapes that seemed to whisper my name. I glanced down at the receipt in my hand, my eyes widening in disbelief. The order listed items that shouldn't exist on our menu, let alone be possible to make. And as I prepared the meal, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, the sensation of eyes boring into me from within the bun itself. Reviewing the CCTV footage, my blood turned to ice as I witnessed a customer simply vanish into thin air, leaving behind nothing but an empty seat. And on the table, a half-eaten meal sat abandoned, the food slowly growing cold as if its owner had never existed at all. In the break room, I stumbled upon a sight that froze me in my tracks. My co-workers stood in a circle around a glowing McFlurry, their eyes glazed over as they chanted in unison. And in the corner, the Ronald McDonald statue loomed, its eyes glowing with an unholy light. Venturing into the play place, I was met with an eerie sight. Despite being empty, the air was filled with echoing laughter that sent shivers down my spine. And as I navigated the labyrinth of tunnels and slides, shadowy figures darted out of sight, their presence felt but never seen. The ice cream machine began to tremble and shake, its metallic frame groaning in protest as it spewed forth a dark, viscous substance that oozed across the floor. My co-workers recoiled in horror, their screams drowned out by the infernal noise emanating from the machine. A happy meal box sat upon the counter, its surface pulsating with an otherworldly glow that seemed to draw me in. And as I approached, the toys within began to wriggle and move of their own accord, their plastic limbs contorting into grotesque shapes. Against my better judgment, I descended into the depths of the basement, the air growing colder with each step. The rusted door marked employees only creaked open of its own accord, revealing a dimly lit chamber filled with ominous shadows that seemed to dance and sway in the darkness. Behind the grill, a swirling vortex of colors erupted into existence, its hypnotic allure drawing me closer against my will. And as I struggled to resist its pull, I watched in horror as my co-workers were dragged towards the McPortal, their screams drowned out by the deafening roar of the void. Armed with nothing but spatulas and fry baskets, we made our final stand against the encroaching darkness. Our manager stood at the forefront, reciting an ancient incantation to banish the malevolent forces that threatened to consume us whole. As the clock struck midnight, we gathered in a circle around the glowing McFlurry, our hands joined in unity against the darkness. And in that moment, a beam of light shot forth from the eyes of the Ronald McDonald statue, driving back the shadows and restoring peace to our once haunted sanctuary. With the darkness banished and the dawn breaking on the horizon, we emerged from the ordeal battered but unbroken. Sharing a moment of camaraderie amidst the chaos, we knew that we had faced the horrors of the night and emerged victorious. As I locked up the restaurant for the night, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. 
Glancing back one last time, I caught a glimpse of the ghostly figure from the drive through window, its eyes boring into mine with a silent warning. Beware the darkness that lurks behind the golden arches, for it hungers for more than just fast food. And that, my friends, is the tale of the midnight shift at McDonald's. So who's up for a late night Big Mac?